It's another episode of Wonders of the World on Yutchet TV. I am your host, Yaki. Today, we are taking a trip to Uganda where a woman who gave birth to 44 children reveals what her life is like. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please don't forget to share. Sometimes we do not know how to deal with one or two children with parenting not being easy. How about giving birth to 44 children? What are your thoughts on that? Meet 40-year-old Mariam Nabatanzi from Uganda who gave birth to 44 children. She lost six, leaving 38 children under one roof. When Mariam was 13 years old, her parents sold her to a man who was 27 years older for marriage. But she had no idea of what was going on until she was left at the man's house. A year later, she had her first babies, twins, and the next year, triplets, and another year, quadruplets. Marriage was a hard journey for Mariam. Her husband had many children from his past relationships, and he had to take care of them because their mothers were scattered all over. He was also violent and would beat her at any opportunity he got even when she suggested an idea that he didn't like. At some point, when Mariam had 23 children, she decided that she had had enough and asked doctors if some procedure could be done so she wouldn't have any more children. But after an extensive examination, doctors said that she had a high ovary count and that any procedure would put her health and even her life in danger. Mariam gave birth to a total of 44 babies, six twins, four sets of triplets, three sets of quadruplets, and only two children were born without a copy. There were also another six that passed away. According to Mariam, she has no regrets in having kids. The only thing that upsets Mariam is that her children are growing up without their father. Her husband would often disappear for months or sometimes even years, and eventually he left them completely. He never had any part in raising the kids except giving them names, which sometimes happened over the phone. Can you believe that? The eldest son, who is 24 years old, says that he hasn't seen his father since he was 13. But Mariam has no time to complain or feel sorry for herself. She has dedicated her entire life to giving her children lots of love and care and providing them with everything they need for the future. Food is one of the biggest expenses for this large family. Every day, they need 10 kilos of maize, 7 kilos of beans, and 4 kilos of sugar. All her children are getting an education. One of her firstborn twins became a nurse and the other became a qualified builder. She says, and I quote, I am hopeful that my children will go to school because they all have big ambitions of being doctors, teachers, and lawyers. I want them to achieve these dreams, something I was not able to do. End of quote. To cover her expenses, Mariam has had to learn many difficult skills. She collects local herbs to sell, bakes cakes, lays bricks, breads hay, organizes and decorates events, and even styles hay for bride, to mention a few. Journalist Kasim Kaira heard about Mariam and visited her outstanding family. It is thanks to him that we now know about her as well. Mariam has a message for all parents in her culture. She says, and I quote, Stop selling your daughters to men for early marriages. They suffer too much and the loss of parental love is something that they can never recover fully from. End of quote. Additionally, she says, I'll keep on fighting to make sure my children always have food to eat. I will never abandon them, even if we suffer to survive daily. In her interview with Kasim, Mariam gave some advice to all men. Do not forget your responsibility because marriage is a joint responsibility to raise your children. 
Life for this woman has been very harsh and we wish for her that all of her kids grow into wonderful people so she can get to rest one day. What do you think fertility has been to Mariam? A blessing or a curse? Let us know in the comments section. That's all for today on Wonders of the World on YouTube TV. Till we come your way next Sunday, kindly share the video and follow our Facebook page, Youth Sheds, so you can watch future videos. I remain your host, Yaki. Blessings.